Deadline, what are you doing? You can't be crushing the Morpho SG-5. Why not? Whatever happened to uniting the different factions of vintage computing enthusiasts together for a thousand years? Deadline, have you forgotten the city's in motto? Dude, I just want to smash this. Wait a minute, city's in has a motto? It's more of an ethos than a motto. Here, let me show you. What the? In order to prevent Deadline from crushing Apple products, we must unite and bring peace to vintage computer enthusiasts everywhere, no matter how crappy their machines are. And hijinks. Lots of hijinks. Dang, man. I guess you're right. I'm acting kind of like a ZX Spectrum user at a Commodore 64 user convention. Well, speaking of C64 conventions, that gives me a great idea. This year, why don't we turn the G5 into a C64? That'll make it even better. The best part is, we get to make one video and use it twice, both for hashtag Marchintosh and hashtag Genomador. You know how I like to deliver value to our patrons. Awesome! <laughs> We're going to be putting Linux on this machine because we can't just put a C64 operating system on there, right? Much as we would like to. Traded it in for. I actually, I, I think I traded it in for a bunch of Dreamcast games. Now that I think about it. I love, I love the GameCube for. Um, um, for Metroid Prime. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that was the other one. Walker. That was the first, um, Metroid Prime, yeah. That was the other game I had. I had, like, two or three games. And then Metroid Prime. You know, I played all the Resident Evil remakes. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that was the first platform that they bothered with the remakes. Yeah. Alright. So, one thing, one thing that we're talking about is we've got a cruise coming up later in the year, taking either a real lightweight, just like an uncased mister or something like that, but then playing retro games that have a nautical or cruise thing, and do a different game each day, and then just, and then having like, you know, seven days of, of, of gameplay, you know. I'm gonna get all these receipts. <laughs> yeah, because we were talking about like um, Larry Five, you know, yeah. Love for Sale. Yeah. Um, Cause that was a good, that was a good game. I mean, that was modern era PC kind of, but it's old enough now to be retro. Cause I think that's twenty something years old. It installed and finished. Yeah, yeah. I guess the grub works. So it's working. Hey, we're at the screen. Think.
This is a day I've been looking forward to all month. Every once in a while, a de-evolutionary product comes along that changes nothing. Deadline. You forgot your cities in the bottom. Whoa, when did Max get so advanced? Well, Clicky. It's actually just a video because I can't get this machine to do anything. I can't get it to compile an emulator or even go on the browser to do a web-based emulator. Why I never saw Max Max Linux go stupid to emulate a C64? No wonder there's no AI on you buying this machine. It makes everything up. <laughs> Action! Action! City Z Pedro! Shutting! All ammo! And the terror! Petzl! Created Red Podcast! Thomas Mulligan! And the show and tell! Since Silence! Thank you.